my mock scores are plateauing or they're volatile what do i do from here right first thing if they're volatile then there's a that's a worrying signal that means you're taking too many chances that means usually it means that accuracy is out of whack so you're, you're taking chances trying to go too quickly so you're getting lots of questions uh, incorrect in the odd mock that means you have no control over a paper and as a simple rule of thumb your accuracy should be upwards of 90 95 percent in quant and dilr and upwards of 75 percent in verbal if you if you if your accuracy is 70 percent in quant and di and 50 percent in verbal then you're in the middle of nowhere you've got to seriously seriously up that accuracy it's very vital be particular about accuracy very often i find that students they go from say 90th to 99.2 99.3 without increasing attempts at all and they don't increase attempts at all but their percentiles go up because their accuracy creeps up if you're attempting 70 questions and you're at 90th percentile level then you don't have much room for increasing attempts you can attempt 70 questions and get 99th percentile. you need to work on that don't the, the automatic lever that appeals is to increase accuracy sorry increase number of attempts don't fall for that trap work aggressively on getting your accuracy up to speed volatile scores are a scary indicator of being having a laissez-faire attitude towards accuracy so be very careful about that scores plateau that happens that happens for everybody so you you go up in kind of jumps you stay at the 90th percentile range and then suddenly you hit a 94 and then for the next three marks you hit 93 94 95 and then you go up to 97 98 it is good if it happens like that that means you have consolidated your gain, gains internalized them and then you found something new coming up and so crank up intensity improve the way you review the paper uh, remove score volatility so that your percentiles mean something and if your, if your percentiles are 75 90 65 90 45 85 then that means nothing then 90 is not your level your level is nothing right so if you're consistently getting between 90 and 92 or 85 to 90 then you're going somewhere then you can make a few adjustments and go higher and so you need to be confident of a base percentile and then say this is what i'm sure of this i'm capable of let me see if i can make a few tweaks here and go to go from the 90 to 94 range you need to ramp up and get lots of practice and review really well 95 to 99 range you need not just practice but some lever to attempt the slightly tougher questions both you need to add on and so volatile scores are more worrisome than plateauing scores plateauing scores everyone sees a plateau and then they feel like look i can't climb from 93 upwards at all then you find something new try that out that's all right you will always find back yourself be confident you will find something that's where the belief comes in but if your scores are volatile then you you're, you're being flippant about accuracy that will come back to haunt you be very wary of that